Welcome back. Well, our next guests are both members of the Milwaukee Symphony Orchestra, but have also performed in orchestras and solo appearances around the entire world. They're also married. They have three mm -hmm. boys, too, but today they are here to support community development for kids living in Congo. Dietrich and Megumi Heyman join us today, but this Sunday they're going to perform a special concert to benefit Covenant Kids Congo with mm -hmm. World Vision. Great to see you guys. So cool. Thank you nice so much for having so us. So I got to know, did you meet because of music? We did, actually. Uh, I was in the Rochester Philharmonic in Rochester, New York, and uh, Megumi came to audition for the orchestra. I was actually on her audition committee when she tried out for that orchestra. We you played. were like, yes! yes. So, <laughs> you're you're on the horn, and you're like, yep, I want her! Right. Exactly, yeah, it was an easy decision, right. So we played together there, and then uh, we dated a little bit, but then she got the job here with the Milwaukee Symphony, so we dated long distance for a couple of years, and oh. then when we decided to get married is when I, I moved here. So, Did you and play the great man, quit the job and got wow. married to me. <laughs> oh, that is sweet. No, do you guys play at home? Do you play your instruments and do we, collaborate we at home? Do, yeah, we do sometimes, but mostly we have to take turns because we have one of us has to watch the kids and the other one can practice so mm -hmm. now that we have uh, our youngest is in preschool we have a few hours three days a week that we can rehearse together for things like this okay you guys have played everywhere i mean first of all you said you were both in new york for a long time you've been in japan you've been in europe you've been around the country yet you're here in milwaukee with our symphony how do you think our symphony and and the music here in in our community relates or or compares to different places around the world that you've played do you oh, think we're world class absolutely yeah there's no question i mean you look at the 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 quality of the concerts and the musicians that we have in the orchestra and the guest artists that come in we, we feel incredibly privileged to be a part of such a great orchestra and it absolutely stacks up. Mm -hmm. You're from Tokyo. Yes, that's right. Right? Um, what is it like playing here? Because I know you're very well known in your own mm -hmm. country mm -hmm. as well. Oh, it's, it's wonderful playing here. You know, actually Milwaukee Symphony is very well known in Japan. I remember really? like, yeah, when I was in high school, the uh, Milwaukee Symphony came to Japan and I remember seeing the poster and thinking, oh, Milwaukee Symphony. So, so when the uh, job opened up here, I said, oh, that's a great orchestra. I'm going to try out <laughs> for it. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. That yeah. is really cool. For people who haven't, you know, maybe maybe they didn't grow up playing an instrument mm -hmm. or they're not really um, well versed when it comes to an orchestra performance, uh, how do you how do you kind of ease people in or do you tell them just to come and experience it and, and music is universal? How do you try and get new people to it? enjoy the orchestra? That's a great question. We, we perform a really wide variety of kinds of music with the orchestra. So starting out with something that you think you might like, like around Thanksgiving we're playing the music to go along with the movie Home Alone. So if you know no that, way. Yeah, that's cool. right. so if you know oh, that's that, cool. if you know that movie and it's music by John Williams who wrote so many other wonderful things, you know, that's a great way to, to get a little bit inter, uh, introduced to it. Or we've and got for a, kids too. Yeah, yeah. For kids, yeah, yeah exactly. Kids right. yeah. to orchestra music. We've got mm -hmm. a Christmas pops show coming up in early December. Uh, we've got some other classical shows. So it's really, you know, there's pretty much something to satisfy everyone. Yeah. You, you've got the kids, the boys. Mm -hmm. Are the, which instrument are they interested in? Either <laughs> any? I don't know how, how old are they. Well, we have a nine-year-old and a seven-year-old and a four-year-old. Okay. The nine-year-old has been playing violin and piano. Okay. Wow. And the uh, seven-year-old is going to start viola this week, and he plays the piano too. Now our four-year-old got his um, heart set on a trumpet. He has this <laughs> tiny little trumpet. It's called a pocket trumpet. It's about this big. Cute. And, and, oh, That's he, adorable. He blasts. On it all the time. Does your neighbors <laughs> hate you guys? <laughs> <laughs> no, we have very, very considerate neighbors. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> is music in your house just something that you feel your kids love? Because I always think musical people produce yeah. musical kids. I mean, it's kind of a cool thing. In your house, is it sort of music's required, or do you think they naturally have a love of it because of how well you both play? I think they I think they enjoy it. We don't want to require anything of them, uh, force mm -hmm. anything on them. Um, so if anything, we're sort of hesitant to to say here, do what I do. But um, but they they do seem drawn to it. Especially our oldest and youngest seem really drawn and connect with music because yeah, mm -hmm. it is always around us. You're absolutely right. The middle kids they got to go their own way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. Yeah. What do you think of like the kids' music <laughs> these days? Though I mean, you know, in in terms of like you guys are working with classical music and and some contemporary stuff like that. What do you think of the music that's on the radio that you're 
kids will probably grow up listening to compared to what we did. <laughs> you know, it's so different these days. Yeah, it I is. mean, some of it I like and some of it uh, I'm less familiar with maybe or is, is not quite <laughs> my taste. What was the name of the concert that your daughter went to? Tori Kelly. Do you know who that is? No, no, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, you better learn. Yeah, yeah, yes. right. Right. Um, and this, you've got this awesome event that's happening actually this Sunday um, at the Milwaukee Evangelical Covenant Church. Yeah. And this is a way that you're help supporting a very important cause. It's Kevin, Covenant Kids um, Congo, right? right? Exactly. Yeah, Covenant Kids Congo, um, uh, together with World Vision, provides support and uh, infrastructure for kids in the Congo, pr pr providing things like uh, clean water, uh, immunizations, education about hygiene, and um, other kinds of support, agricultural support that can lead to economic development. And so they, they uh, sort of focus on the kids, but in, in that way, then they really have an impact on an entire community. And they've, uh, Covenant Kids Congo has been doing this for a long time, so they're, they really know what they're doing, and it's a very effective way. Um, yeah. So we've got the concert on Sunday night at 6.30, and it's uh, free admission. And if anybody feels like making a donation to Covenant Kids Congo, they are uh, uh, encouraged to do so. Strong <laughs> encouraged. That's <laughs> great. We're going to let you guys go ahead and get set up. We're going to put mm -hmm. up the information again for this wonderful event. Here it is. It's Covenant Kids Congo. Okay, That concert, which is free, is happening this Sunday, November 8th at 6.30. It's at the Milwaukee Evangelical Covenant Church, which is located on West Center Street. Again, admission is free with donations. Gratefully appreciated. Appreciated. And now here they are performing Azure Dawn. Take it away, guys. Uh. 